Bearded dragons are an amazing pet, but in this video I want to talk about five fun facts about bearded dragons that you may or may not know. What's up YouTube? So I've made countless of videos of bearded dragons and care and things that I like to do and breeding and all of that with bearded dragons, but I actually haven't talked about some of the things that I like about bearded dragons, some, some fun facts I guess you should say uh, that I like about bearded dragons. And I have made a video of why I like bearded dragons, but these are strictly just fun facts. And um, let's go ahead and get straight into it. So first fun fact about a bearded dragon is why are they called bearded dragons? So technically they don't have beards. They don't grow hair on their chin. They don't do nothing like that. Um, what happens is anytime they get stress or they get anger or anything like that, their beard turns black and occasionally they will puff out their beards to make them seem bigger and they usually do that when they're threatened or something like that something like a predator comes around so if you have a bearded dragon outside and it sees a bird flying around that's usually when you'll see them puff out and try to seem bigger to make the bird get scared of the fact that maybe that bearded dragon is not for me to eat so bearded dragons will get the black beard that does happen it could be anything from uh, changing their environment around so you're upgrading their enclosure or you're moving the decor around anything like that could stress out a bearded dragon or even seeing another pet in the house could stress out a bearded dragon same thing happens now in my reptile building my dogs walk in here and some bearded dragons don't even bat an eye and some of them ride and run and hide so anything like that could stress out a bearded dragon cost them to black beard and that is why they call they are called bearded dragons now I see, as I'm looking around the room, I see like three bearded dragons right now that are black bearded. And I'm going to show you a couple. So first one, what about you? So this first guy here, his name's Hades. And it's a guy, it's a male thing. He sees a lady, he has to show his dominance, and there he goes. He has the black beard going. And that is why he's black bearded today, is because he sees the ladies. He wants to breed. He's showing his dominance, so his beard is black. Now, that's usually the main reason why my bearded dragon's black beard is when they are trying to breed or when they feel threatened um, or anything like that from a bearded dragon that's outside of their enclosure. So this is one of the guys that's black bearding today. There's another guy down there black bearding. There's a female down there black bearding. Females will black beard as well, regardless of breeding or not. They could see another bearded dragon in the enclosure next to them or away from them. And there's one bobbing and weaving right now. So that happens to any gender of bearded dragon. And that is a cool fun fact about bearded dragons is that they black beard and that's that's pretty cool in my opinion that their whole beard can change color just because of stress or any other reason. I mean, just this guy, he's not stressed. He's just trying to show his dominance. Another fun fact about bearded dragons is that they communicate via head bobs and arm waves. And um, I don't know why I just did the wave, but I always think it's pretty cool when they do it. And actually, you know, before... I have seen them wave at me and I'll wave back and they keep waving so I don't know if it's because they just feel like doing it or if I actually feel uh, if they feel like they have to communicate with me but main way that they communicate is by the bobbing and is by the hand waving and when they breed they do this mostly because they're trying to let each other know that they are receptive to breeding or they're not ready for breeding so if a male and a female are both black bearding and bobbing, that means they're both trying to show their dominance and it's probably not a good time for them to breed. But if the female starts waving, that means there's a good chance that she's receptive and is ready to go. Fun fact number three, and this is actually a very weird fun fact to be honest. Bearded dragons can run relatively quick and it's very surprising how quickly they can run. They have been known to run up to 9 miles an hour and if you ask me if I can run 9 miles an hour, probably not going to happen. Um, I know there's people that are, you know, running 20 miles an hour or whatever. I get on the treadmill and I start going four or five miles an hour and I'm already exhausted. So I know for a fact that nine miles an hour, that's like top speed probably for me. And if a bearded dragon is running at nine miles an hour and I'm chasing after it, more than likely it's not going to be stopping anytime soon. So I'm not going to be catching that bearded dragon. So if you do have a bearded dragon and you do take your bearded dragon outside, you can always get a leash. So it doesn't run away from you, and if it does run, at least you can catch it with the leash, um, or at least stop it from running with the leash. And that's really the one of the funnest facts, in my opinion, about bearded dragons. Who knew that these little creatures could run so quickly? I mean, me running at nine miles an hour—that's obviously my legs are you know three lo three feet long or whatever. But these creatures, their legs are like two and a half, three inches long. How can they run nine miles an hour? That's unbelievable. That's crazy. Fun fact number four is the fact that bearded dragons are solitary animals. 
And most people, like, if they have just one bearded dragon, they're going to say, oh, I haven't seen my bearded dragon all day. I've been working all day, blah, blah, blah. They probably need me. They probably are lonely. They probably want some uh, together time, whatever the, whatever your statement may be. Bearded dragons don't care if you're around them all the time. If, in fact, they'd rather just be alone all the time. So if you have a bearded dragon and you take it all of the enclosure, more than likely it's just going to run around doing its own thing and it's not going to care that you're even around. However, when I had my first few bearded dragons, I used to take my bearded dragons out so much that I they would actually sleep in bed with me. I know that sounds pretty weird to most people because they don't have a reptile that could probably sleep in bed with them, but I had two bearded dragons, male and female, believe it or not, that every night, every once in a while, I'd have them out and I'd fall asleep and they would both fall asleep right next to me on the pillow and neither would ever do anything to each other. The male never really cared that the female was there and I just thought that was pretty cool. Um, so even though they are technically solitary creatures and don't really get lonely, sometimes you never know. They may surprise you and sometimes they may fall asleep next to you on the pillow. But again, fun fact number four was that they are technically solitary creatures and do not get lonely. Fun fact number five. Fun fact number five is actually that bearded dragons, unlike some other animals, they do not hibernate during the winter. Instead, they brumate. So it's, a, it's not like hibernation where it's deep sleep the entire season. Brumation is a little bit different where they wake up every so often to drink water, to eat a little bit, or just to bask and get some heat. Um, and other than that, they'll be asleep most of the time. So it's not really a full sleep. It's not a deep sleep. They're just away for a few days. They come out and then go away for another few days. The longest I've ever had a bearded dragon brumate was two months. And the longest I've heard of bearded dragons brumating is for four months. Five months, I think it's what I saw one time, uh, but on average, it's about two to three months, and some of them only brumate for a few days, while some of them brumate for that whole season of five months. So, those are the fun facts about bearded dragons. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that I put out in the future. As always, peace. <laughs>